So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Steam you know, application or your Steam account, basically. So to do this, it's actually very, very basic. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and make your way over to your Bluetooth settings of your Windows PC or any PC that you basically have. So make your way over to your settings application of this device, and you will come into this page. Now you want to go into your Bluetooth and devices panel, and what we want to do is we want to click on add a device. Now, if you already have your device set up, then you won't necessarily have to do this too much, but we then want to go and make our way over into our PlayStation 4 controller. And we want to hold down the PlayStation home button right here and the share button right here. So we want to hold down both these buttons until the lights on the top of your PlayStation 4 controller start blinking like this. Now you should see a wireless controller option come up inside of your PC. So all you're going to have to do right now is click on this wireless controller option, and you should see that the light should stop blinking on your controller, and it will just be a solid light like this that you can kind of see right there. So now what we want to do is we want to make our way over to our Steam application. So open up Steam just like this, and now what we want to do is we want to click on Steam in the top right corner right up here, and we want to click on Settings. So click on Steam, then click on Settings right here, then what we want to do, and you can see Steam crashed out on I me, mean, I don't know why, so we'll have to open it up one more time. So let's go and open up Steam. And this doesn't affect our controller because our controller was still connected. So open up Steam one more time. And what we want to do is click back into Steam right up here. And we want to go back into Settings. So then when we go into Settings, what we want to do is we want to find that controller option within our Settings app. So click on Controller. And then you'll see that controller name and as long as that controller name matches what your controller name is as the controller itself, then you're pretty much good to go. So now you can go and configure all of your options within you know, Steam itself, and you can go ahead and basically just you know, use this controller whichever way you want to inside of this by modifying these settings right here. So that's basically how it's done. It's a very basic process. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, now me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solden.